Welcome to Nera, a lo-fi survival game set in an endless random world. You can explore, craft, mount animals, fly a plane, and more. And at night, you can fight zombies, skellies, and giant ogolads who want to suckle at your life force titty. Now, this comes to Steam Early Access on the 24th of April 2020, and in the meantime, here's a taste of the closed beta, which if you're quick enough, you can get access to until March the 15th by visiting alphabetagamer.com. Anyway, here's me playing it, more importantly. Right, so I'm playing it on normal mode, survival, seed 888, if you're interested in playing along. Um, so really, first of all, I need to, well, I need to do some wood, wood punching, really. Um, you get given a stone to start with. It's a very ineffective tool, but at least you can actually bash some trees down. We're going to need a lot of wood, and we're going to need a lot of stone as well. And um, this is day one. At night, of course, we have to worry about zombies. So I think my first order of business is to try and craft a gun. A little pistol poos uh, which will see us through the night. You can craft loads of ammo, but we will need metal, for which we'll need a stone hammer, for which we'll need a wooden hammer. And so all things continue on from there, really. So I've already got 13 sticks, which I can turn into planks using crafting, but let me just get a few more sticks. You'll see a few wildlife around. There's an alpaca, bottom left. And we can mount them, but not yet. And we have to learn how to like get close to them and also put a saddle on them, uh, which takes quite a lot of crafting. And there's a, there's a load of other stuff. I mean, there's, there's vehicles, there's boats and planes, whatever, but the, the crafting requirements there are quite immense. And you can also build yourself a little house, which we'll have to do, but probably not first. But in the meantime, actually, what we'll do is we'll craft a few planks. And you can do this entirely on the keyboard, but mouse is also rather handy to do things with, otherwise um, it's a bit of a like, very old-school kind of keyboardy type sit setup, which isn't, isn't for everyone. But anyway, let's get out of there, and let's now craft a little hammer. Um, we need a that's a wooden shovel, wooden o, wooden axe. Oh, we actually we'll we'll need both of these, but let's get a hammer to start with. Your inventory is very limited in this game, so you've got to do quite a lot of fiddling around. Now, I don't know how what the plan is for like um later on early, in early access or whatever, but for now, if you want to like shuffle things around, it is a bit of a a bit of a performance. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna toss out a few things and then toss out my hammer and my axe just so I can get those into slots one and two. Now I've got some good um, axing to be doing, so I can actually start tonking trees a little better. But more importantly, I can now start getting stone. Now the biomes in this, there's like desert, grass, and snow, and water. It, you can get through the water a little bit, but you will drown um, after a while. But I found at the moment, this, this may change as development goes on, if, you, if, you, if you've got a mount, you, can ba you basically get infinite amount of water travel. I'm sure that's a mistake. I'm sure, I'm sure that's not implemented yet, so and I think Mount should probably be able to drown at some point. If you run around long enough, you might find some chests with some very good later kind of game-type crafting stuff in them. But that does take quite a while to find. So instead, let's actually get out of the snow biome, because what I want to do is find um, desert. Here we go. Desert, because these are very good for um, stone. To start with, when you tonk these things, you'll only get basic rocks out of them, which, eh, fine. But as we upgrade our hammers, we'll be able to get stuff that allows us access to iron, and therefore metal, and therefore metal tools, which do not degrade. And wooden tools and stone tools degrade. You can see in the bottom left, 64... Oh, I was going to say 60. Hang on. Yeah, 60, and so on. So these don't last very long at all, but as soon as you get to the metal age, you're sorted. I think, I think, they last forever. Right, so I think we should be able to do some more crafting now. Let's get up to stone hammer. Leave wood, the wood era long behind already. Stone axe. We don't really need a hoe, I don't think. Shovel. Likewise, that's for like farming and building, which we don't need to get into just yet. Hello, lad. Look, floating above the water. Oh, I've got cowley poos. Right, anyway, let's start trying to get some iron ore. There's some. So now with the stone hammer, you can get both iron and stone out of these things. I think all the rocks are the same, basically. But yeah, the desert is the place to find the stone. Stone. Oh, but missed a bit. So your, invent your inventory size is very limited. There's no inventory beyond what you can see at the bottoms, unless I've completely gone mad. And I've missed a massive chunk of the game, but I don't think so. Right, come on. Give it some more... St come on. We need, we've got like eight bits of iron ore at the moment, we will need a lot, because two iron ore makes one metal. And if we want a pistol, well we do need four metal, but we also need other stuff as well. We'll need to craft some ammo. Sometimes it's a little fiddly trying to get exactly the right place. You can see the little white... hello, what was that? 
some kind of unicorn. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see the little white dot? That's the kind of the mouse cursor. It's a bit um, uh, weird, but it does the job. Like a, a dark stag. Ooh, very pretty. Right, one more bit of tonking for this, I think. There's some more. And let's turn it into metal. If you you have to hold to craft, time pauses when you're in the menu. And also, if you hold down the craft for long enough, it'll get quicker and quicker. There we go. Now we can get a pistol. Oh, no, we need nails. So first of all, we need to make some more... Me um, one, one metal equals one nail, so we just need to make two of them. Which now lets us make our pistol poos Oh, missed. Hang on. Wrong button. There we go. Slowly does it. We've got two bits of metal from which we can make 9mm ammo. There's four different kinds of ammo in this. And we've used up all our metal and we've got 30 bullets, which isn't bad. So what I'm going to do now is just toss out those sticks um, using X. Toss out my pistol over there. Pick up the pistol so it goes into my third slot. And then the sticks piss off into the, the, the very depth of my hotbar, which is exactly what I want. Right, so we've got a pistol. Um, these take down zombies in two shots. The most convenient. Here, what are you? Oh, I picked up some leather. You will find some random stuff just scattered around the place. Right, until until it starts to go dark, what I'll do is I'll collect a few more bits of metal and things like that. Right, so it's nearly 8pm, and then zombies will start to materialise, and other things as well. So we will have to start being a bit cautious. I haven't really been able to find much iron. Suddenly, all I'm seeming to find is... Oh! Oh, that's just... It's, it's fine. That's, that's fine. Oh, there's a zombie. Right, let's shoot it. They they do provide you with raw materials. Sometimes it's completely random there. Oh, we've got to reload first. Ha! There we go. Right, before we go any further, what I want to do is craft some more bullets, because 30 will not get us through the night. So a little bit more metal. Did not pick up much iron ore there. It's really annoying. More ammo. This is more like it. There we go. And also I need to toss a few things because I don't really want a sapling in my inventory. Right, gun. Anything around? No, just some animals. Shall probably take the opportunity to grab a bit more. Oh, zombie. Has he seen me? He's hiding behind that tree, irritatingly. Oh, here we go. So I could make campfires and things, but... Oh, Ooh, got some delicious meats. My inventory is full, so let's toss the mushroom. I can eat the meats, I can also cook it in a campfire. You can also make a beacon, which will guide you back, because otherwise there's no way of... If you die, you'll respawn elsewhere, and you won't be able to find anything that you've built. But, if you build a beacon, which I think we should try and do, as a matter of urgency, then you will be able to find it using a kind of like a, a mapping point, pointing system, which we'll see when I actually get around to it. Actually, let's see, what, what is a campfire? I think campfire is... Oh, just toss my gun, that's less than ideal. Oh, reload, reload, reload. Hang on. Uh, Right, there we go. Let's go into the thing. Let's have a look at what campfire needs. Ah, oh, we can already make it, so let's do that. Um, I've just tossed my gun again. <laughs> God damn it. Right. There. Do not walk into the campfire, you will die. You can toss meat into it. There we go. And it's turned into cooked meat. Uh, which I don't actually need to eat at the moment. I could do with a chest. I could do with finding a chest, but I'll also be able to craft one. To make a... Oh, God damn it. I keep on tossing. It's because the toss button is X and the crafting button is C, right next to each other. Anyway, the beacon, we need one torch, two nail, and four metal. So we will be needing a bunch more um, iron ore, which might be a bit difficult at this time of night. What's those? Oh, oh that's the cooked meat, okay. Leather. So what I really want is a chest. And let's see if we can actually build a chest anytime soon. Oh god, that's even more expensive. So no. We probably need to go... Hunting a little bit for stuffs. The campfire, well... May go back to that. I mean, there's, there's no current way of finding finding our way back to the campfire. We will need a beacon. Oh god, more meats. Although I can't pick it up. My inventory is now full. Um, skeletons require four shots with a pistol. I've got, I've got shrimp, I've got meat, I've got starfish. Unfortunately, I haven't really got much in my inventory. Hang on, there's a starfish. I'll try and cook that. Anything else? Stone axe and stone hammer. Sticks, leather. God, your inventory fills up so fast. <laughs> Hang on. Lad. There we go. Now, I've actually got replicas of tools, haven't I? Because I've got, I've got a wood axe which can go into the water. And I've got a st two stone hammers. Hmm. 
It's a mistake. Let's get rid of the, the one that's not got much on it. I think I've did some extra crafting there by mistake. Anyway, I've got some more meats, which I'll again put through the fire. I've got the bloody mushroom back. Hang on. I wonder if you can cook the mushroom. I don't think you can. Anyway, I don't care. I'm being, I'm being attacked. Hang on. There we go. Shrimp. Presumably shrimp can... Can shrimp cook? Shrimp cooked. Yes, they can indeed. And as for... Oh, that's more meat. Okay. So I really do need a chest at this point. So at 4am, it's starting to get light. Um, all sorts of um, crabs and bits of meat lying around all over the place. God, look at it all. Back to the fireplace. And we've got a full days ahead of us now of crafting and larks and various other things like that. But we do need to make the beacon. I've got a bit of iron. Not really enough yet, I don't think, to make a beacon. But let's have a go. What do we need? I think we need um, four metal for this. And also nails. So we've got three metal and no nails. That's not ideal. Let's go out hunting. There might still be some rogue skellies and zombies around if they haven't despawned yet. I think they can last, but they will eventually start to burn and all that. God, this, uh, my inventory is just... Oh, look, there's, there's zombies. Hang on. Hang on. Got no room at all to carry things. I'll probably get rid of this. In fact, I'll, I'll go back to base. And I'll... Because I said we do need a chest. Um, toss! We can pick that up. And I've got space in my inventory now for some... There we go. Iron ore. Yeah, there's loads of stones around now. What I really could do with is upgrading my tools, though. Because then we'll, we'll actually finally get to the um, stage where they don't degrade. But that will require more metal. For now, I want, to, I want to get the beacon sorted so we can always get back to the campfire. Have a little base where we can have a chest and all that. At some point, we'll try to mount things. But saddles are re relatively expensive and require a different sort of like a tree of crafting with all sorts of things like um, rope, leather, and cloth and that sort of thing. So I won't do that quite yet. So what I need is just bloody metal for days. Like these little round rocks. They're pleasant. There we go. That's that that hammer dead. Right, get back to base. Which I think I can you can tell by all the bloody stuffs. Right, okay. Get rid of that for a second, for no reason at all. And we need to go into materials, and... Right, here we go. So, yes, uh, beacon is the most important thing. We will need, also need a torch for this. Right. There, finally got it all sorted. Seems to be a cloud passing overhead. Anyway, never mind about that. I've tossed my gun. Don't do that. Right, beacon. So I'm going to put the beacon... Let's put it there. Where we can see what's going on. And you can change the colour of that if you want. But whatever, whatever, it means that when you walk away from it and you press M, you get a little arrow. But only when you're pressing M. There's fish, there are fish just spawning in the desert. Although this might, that was a strawberry. I really need to start them. I need to get the chest. We've st Essentially, we've started a base now. We know what's what. So I was to remind myself, um, chests are... And let's have a look. Chests. We've got the metal. Let's try. Let's try to get the this sorted. We need eight planks. Now, planks are very cheap. We've got plenty of sticks to turn into that. We'll do that. And we'll need a little more metal. So, off mining I will go. I'm miles away from home. This is still the same desert. Turns out the desert is enormous. Also, the music in this is very Johan Johansson. But anyway, let's try and get back. Oh, there we go. So the blue arrow is at the very bottom of the screen. You might be, you might be able to see that. I think it's, all I have to do now is go south. Also, pick up this random spawning stuff. That's some. I've, also, I've made myself a little metal hammer, by the way, which, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, is a just the next upgrade of hammer, so it means that this will never degrade. And I'm hoping to do that the same for the axe and everything like that, but I'm not worrying about that just yet. What's that? It looks different. I don't know what that is. Not really much I can do. My inventory is full. Another strawberry there. Anyway, we're nearly back, I think. Oh, there we go. 
There is the thingamay. Right, I should actually be able to build a little base as well. Uh, let's craft... I've got 329 stone. And to build bases... Well, we won't bother doing wood. We'll do... Immediately, we'll go straight onto stone wall. Unfortunately, this is going to take a little bit of time. It will it will speed up the longer we press F. And also, I've got nothing... There was room in my inventory. But let's see. We'll probably need... 10, 20... Maybe about 30 bits of wall, I think. So I don't know how many I've crafted so far, but we'll, I'll just go a bit mad and see see what we can do. This is going to be a, a big old house. I don't know, I've never actually um, built a house yet whilst I've been playing around with this earlier. So I don't know how we, if it keeps the zombies out, but what we will need is a um, if we make a campfire, which is actually, no sorry, a sleeping bag, then we will be able to um, sleep the night. Okay, we've actually, I've just used a palm of stone. I didn't actually mean to do that much. Um, it just got so quick, I went a bit mad. Let's toss my feather for a sec. I've got 41! Oh, blimey. That was, say, a little more than I was originally expecting. Oh, God, this is, um... Huh. This is not what, quite how I expected it to go. We need a... Oh, my God, it's gone diagonal. Oh, ah, we'll need a door, which is a problem, because I don't... No, I've got the right materials. I'll have to clean this up at some point. Right, so there'll be a door there. This is such a wonky house. <laughs> oh well. So doors, I think, are a bit more expensive. Hang on, let's. I need to put. I need to change what's in my hand, otherwise the mouse disappears. Okay, structures. Stone door. That's it. Four nail and ten stone. Uh, we've got none of either. So that'll have to be a... I really shouldn't have put the campfire in the doorway because I'm going to keep on running over that and getting burnt. But... Anyway, what I'll do is I'll try to... Instead of trying to worry about that, I'll try and, I'll try to get us a campfire just so we've got a way of sleeping through the night. Which will require... No, I'll keep on saying campfire. A uh, sleeping bag, which means two rope. Uh, I haven't actually got any of that. Which re that, re that requires two threads, which requires furs. I don't think we've really got much in the way of furs. So this will be a, a bit of a thing. I think what I'll do is I'll start tossing a few things away. I really, really do need a um, chest. Um, that's, again, let's just see what that costs. Mm, that's doable, but we'll just need a bit more metal. I mean, we've, got, we've actually got a load of metal to craft. So let's try... We'll, we'll get the chest sorted, I think. I should just take a bit of time to do this. Make some nails. And chest. There. Finally. Little chesty poos. Put that there. It means all the real gunk. You have to like toss it into the chest with X. All the real gunk will get out of our inventory now. Fish. Oh, we've got, we got two fur. I'll keep that. And leather. We've got one stone. Anyway. Now I need... Oh, I've just thrown my hammer into the... No, 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 it's there. It's fine. It's fine. Now I just need to gather a bit more stuff. Oops. Okay, I died. Um, I died because I was actually standing in the water whilst trying to chop a, a stone and didn't notice I was drowning. So, oops. Luckily, respawn at the beacon, so nothing lost. I actually thought the, um, you had to build a, a sleeping bag to actually get a bit, um, to actually get a spawn point, but I was wrong. So I'm very happy that I actually um, worked that out. Why is there a chest there? Oh, is that my, that's my loot, isn't it? And also, it's raining now. You may have noticed. I uh, just need that ammo as well. So let's just toss out that leaf. Things don't seem to despawn, which is handy. Huh. Do it, so does that mean I get a free chest? Um, grab! I'm trying to grab before I drown. I haven't actually got me in my inventory here, sorry. On. Uh, iron. That'll do it's only a little bit. I've got another free chest. That's weird. It's almost worth dying once. 
just so you get that. Anyway, well, I won't make the um, I won't bother making the sleeping bag now because we've, I've already got my spawn point. And what I really need to do is set up a door. But well, well not, my actually, um, if if people are interested, I might actually continue this because I want to get to the stage where I am um, riding horses and also making a plane. So that might be a good goal for us to do. So yes, um, good stuff. If you enjoy, if you did enjoy this, um, please do subscribe to Randomize User and do click the bell to be notified when new videos do go live as I continue to track down all the base, best indie games out there. Um, you can also support us using a one-off tip and buy me a coffee or a monthly deal on Patreon. And both really help me out and keep me motivated in this, the sixth year of Randomised User. Uh, but yeah, if you like lo-fi island survival games, also check out my video on Alchemicraft. A very similar but much smaller game made for a game jam. I'll put a link on the end screen where you can also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.